Hi guys! Welcome back to The Dog That Saved Me. Today we're taking Remus swimming and kayaking for the very first time. camera. I picked it up at Target for 40 bucks. I know that the audio is going to be absolute garbage so I'm going to come back later and voice over everything. Um, but I'm really just using this for the video. Um, I've seen that the video quality is pretty decent. The sound is not. So we'll see what we end up with. I wanted to use this instead of my phone or my actual like, Canon EOS 80D. I did not want to use either one of those cameras. This has a waterproof case that it came with, so we'll see how it does. As you guys will see, Remus has a life jacket, and I always think it's really important that dogs, even though they typically naturally know how to swim, that you have that for them as a safety measure. It's just really important for their safety. I know Remus is a really laid back dog, so I really didn't expect him to try and jump out at all, really. And I was really lucky because that's what ended up happening, is he just laid down in the kayak bottom and stayed there the whole time, except for when we were swimming. He was so relaxed, laid back, he was enjoying the view, enjoying the scenery. If you guys have never been to the Buffalo River in Northwest Arkansas, it is stunning. It was the first national river of the United States. It is 153 miles long, and it's noted for its huge limestone bluffs all along the river. The Buffalo River also offers 36,000 acres of protected wilderness that have stunning views caves and waterfalls to explore. In addition to typical Ozarks wildlife, you could also see elk, black bears, otters, and bobcats as well. There are two sections of the White River, the Upper River and the Lower River. The Upper River has a lot of whitewater rapids and is typically reserved for experienced kayakers and canoers. The Lower River, however, is calm and leisurely and that is what we floated today. We stopped at about the halfway point to have some lunch, and here Remus had an opportunity to do some more swimming. He actually got to swim swim this time, because whenever we were first loading up in our kayaks, the water was pretty shallow there, and it wasn't really deep enough for him to swim all the way. But he enjoyed watching these little minnows swim around. He even tried catching a few. In the Buffalo River, there are 59 different fish species. 
some of these are Long Nose Guard, which you'll see here, the American Eel, and several different species of minnows, suckers, sunfish, and catfish, just to name a few. If you guys are looking for a great float trip, I highly recommend the Buffalo. It will not disappoint. Unless the water is super low, you will have a great time regardless of where you're floating at on the river. Overall, this trip was super laid back, relaxed. Remus had a great experience, we had a great experience. I'm excited to take him again in the future. He just really did a great job, and I'm just so proud of how well he did. Anyways, that's all I've got for you guys today. I love you, I'll see you next time.